Hello everyone, this is Krish Patel from Cat 25 Science Academy. Today I'll take you to chemistry class on the topic of hydrocarbons. Before starting with the topic, let's see what you mean by the term hydrocarbons. Molecules that consist of hydrogen and carbon or carbons, it is known as hydrocarbons. I hope it is clear. Let us move ahead. Now we'll see about the alkenes. On your screen, you can see a table consisting of three columns. In the first column, you can see number of carbon, second column, name of an alkene, and the third column, that is molecular formula. We know work compartments, methane, two ethane, three propane, four butane, five pentane, six hexane, seven taptane, eight octane, nine nonane, and the tenth one is taken. Let us move on to the molecular formula. Methane CH4, ethane C2H6, propane C3H8, butane C4H10, pentane C5H12, hexane C6H14, haptane C7H16, octane C8H18, 9, no name that is C9H20, and it again that is C10H22. I hope you are clear. Let us move ahead, moving to the next topic. Let us move ahead. Now we'll see steps for the common naming of an alkane. There is a one flow chart which you remember while well, common naming of an alkane. So identify if the carbon is straight chain or a branch chain. If it is branch, if it is straight chain, you have to count all the carbons and give name of an alkane. Again, in case of branch chain, you have to count all the carbons and give name of an alkane. In case of straight chain, you have to assign a prefix to the name. In case of branch chain, box the longest carbon chain and circle the branch or the branches. Now, in case of straight chain, the prefix which you are going to use, that is small letter n. In case of branch chain, you have to check whether the branch which is attached on a carbon, which it has belonged to methyl group or not. There can be two possibilities, yes or no. If it is yes, you have to right, check whether the methyl branch is there on a second or a second last carbon. And if it is no, you have to simply write no common name. If it is there on a second last or a second carbon, you have to, it can be two possibilities, yes or no. If it is yes, then you have to check how many methyl branches are there on a second or a second last carbon. If it is no, you have to simply write no common name. Now, over here, you have to check how many methyl branches are there or branch are there. It can be two possibilities, iso or neo. If it is one, you have to add as a prefix before the alkane. And if it is two, you have to add as a prefix new. I hope it is clear. Let us move ahead. Let us move ahead. Now we'll see how to identify straight chain. There is a question on your screen. Let's see how to identify a straight chain. The question is such that CH3, CH2, the whole is 3 and the CH3. Now you have to check in case of straight chain, there will be only two terminal points, not more than that. What are terminal points? Terminal points are also called as endpoints. In this question, CH3, this is our first terminal point and this is our second terminal. For example, if I start my journey from CH3, to CH3. It will be only one way. There is no another way, straight way. Okay. So it is an carbon chain. I hope it is clear. Let us see one more question related to the carbon straight chain. Over here, CH3 dash CH2 dash CH2 dash CH2 dash CH2 and dash CH3. Over here, people think that this is a straight chain because just going down, so it will be branch chain as the people write, but it is not so. It is in straight chain. But for at first, let us count the carbon one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now let us count the terminal points one and two. If there are only two terminal points, it is in straight chain. I hope it is clear. So there are two terminal points. Then if I 
then let us switch now how to identify the branch this is the question on your screen in case of branch chain the terminal points will be more than two it will not be two it will not be one it will be more than two so let us count the terminal points ch3 ch3 and again with three ch are there so there are three terminal points so this is my longest carbon chain and this is my methyl branch attached to the carbon okay so this is my methyl branch i hope it is clear moving to the next question this is the question let us count the terminal points one two three four and five no there are only four terminal points because this is the midpoint so there are four terminal points for me this is a longest carbon chain and these are my two terminal points these are two my methyl branch attached to the okay so i'll circle it and this is also i'll circle it but there's nothing but methyl and this is also methyl i hope you understood let us move ahead now let us solve the questions related to the table which you have shown let's see this is the question first let us count the carbon first let us count see the terminal points let's see it is in straight chain or a branch we'll check one and two as i've told you if it will be two if it will be two terminal points then it is in straight chain yes so it is in straight chain now listen very carefully okay let's see the another one yes we recognize it is in straight chain now count all the carbons and give name of an alkene let us count all the carbons one two three four five six and seven seven means haptene it is an alkene name okay seven carbon means haptene so we are done with it moving to the next step you have to assign a prefix to the name okay the prefix which you are going to use that is small letter n the prefix which you are going to use that is small letter n so we'll write the answer as n dash haptene i want you all to write the previous flow chart in your notebook and solve the questions along with me let's see who's getting the answer you prefer the first to pause the video note down the complete food chart and prefer while solving the questions okay let us move ahead into the next question let us count the terminal points one two and three these are my three terminal points as i have told you in case of branching the terminal points are more than two so it is in branch it will not be in straight chain i hope it is clear so for me this is an longest continuous carbon chain and this is my branch attached to the carbon the branch which belongs to methyl group okay now let us see it is a branch chain count all the carbons and give name of an alkene let us count all the carbons One, two, three, four. Four minutes duty. Now, box the longest carbon chain and circle the methyl branch. Yes, we have bra. This is the longest carbon chain. We have circled the methyl branch. Next, what is next? You have to check whether the branch it is there on the carbon. It is methyl branch or not? It belongs to methyl group or not? Yes, it belongs to methyl. Now, next thing, you have to check that. I have to check check that the methyl branch is there on the second or the second last carbon or not. It is there on the second or the second last carbon or not. Okay, so let us count one, two, three. So yes, it is there on the second or the second last carbon. The next step is that you have to check how many methyl branches are there on the second or the second last carbon. So yeah, there is only one methyl branch. So it will be one means which is nothing but iso and The complete number of carbon that is alkene. The name of an alkene is butene. So it will be isobutene. Okay, it will be isobutene. Next, the third question on your screen that is CH three dash CH two dash CH two dash CH two and dash CH. Many people think that this is a branching. This is not a branching. This is a straight chain. As I have told you, straight chain. 
first we need to count all the terminals so that we'll be getting an address inscription or a branch let us count the terminals this is my first terminal this is my second terminal okay this is my first terminal and this is my second terminal. so case of straight chain there are only two terminals so hence it is in straight chain now count all the carbons given name or not again let us count the carbon one two three four and five five minutes painting five carbon minutes painting according to the alkane name okay so you have to assign a prefix to the name alkane name i'll send it so the prefix you are going to use that is small letter n so it will be n dash butane i hope it is free. okay it will be n dash butane moving to the fourth question let us count the terminal point and let us identify it is which chain it is one two three it is a more than two it will it is a branch chain so count all the carbons and give name of an alkene one two three four and five five months pending so box the next step is box along this carbon chain and circle the methane branch so we have brought the longest carbon chain and we have circled the methyl branch okay circle the branch next step you have to check whether the branch belongs to methyl group or not see it's three months methyl so yes it does it belongs to methyl condition is fulfilled let us move on to the next condition the next condition the next condition is you have to check whether it it is there on the second or the second last carbon. The methyl branch is attached to the carbon. You have to check whether it is there on the second or the second last carbon. It can be two possibilities, yes or no. If it is yes, you have to see how many methyl branches are there. So yes, it is there on second or second carbon. If we start from right to left, it is there on second. If we go from right to left, it is on second last. If we go from left to right, it is a second so you have to check how next step is how many methyl branches are there there is an only one methyl branch so according to the name it is an pentane so and only one methyl branch the so prefix which you are going to use that is iso pentane i hope it is clear yes now i want you all to try this some by your own first pause the video try by yourself observe the question very wisely and I hope you have written the flow chart as well. Refer the flow chart and go through it and get the answer. I hope you have done it. Let's see the answer. So let us count the terminal points. One, two, three. We have three terminal points. Let's end it. So, now, if it is three terminal points, so it is a branch chain. Okay. Now, box the longest continuous carbon chain. First of all, count all the carbons and give name of an alkene. Let us count the carbon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, over here, see very carefully. C3 is the NH5. Okay, C3 H5. So it will be seven carbon. We call the name of an alkene. Moving to the next step. Box the longest continuous carbon chain and circle the branch. We have done. Now, you have to check whether the branch it is attached on a carbon it belongs to methyl group or not. Is this the formula of molecular formula of methyl C2H5? No, it is not so. It is a formula of ethyl. This is a formula of ethyl. So, again, there will be two possibilities, yes or no. If it is yes, then you have to check how many. It is there on second or second last. It should not be there. And over here, it is not you have to simply write no common name. I hope you understood and you got the answer. Moving to the next question. The next question is on your screen. So this is the question. Let us count the terminal points. One, two, three, and four. There are four terminal points. Okay. So it is a branch. Now count all the carbons and give name of an alkene. Let us count the carbon. One, two, three four five six seven and eight so eight months of ten yes 
statements of the count all the time. So now box the longest carbon chain and circle the match. Okay, so this is my longest continuous carbon chain and I have circle my branches. Now, the next step, you have to check whether the branch that is attached, it belongs to methyl group or not. Yes, it belongs to methyl group. Condition fulfilled. The next step, you have to check whether it is there on the second or the second last card. Over here, if you see many people do mistake over here, what they like. They think that from here also it is there on second and from here it is also there on second. No, it should not be there. This should be also attached and put, should be together attached on a one carbon one. Then only the condition will be fulfilled. But over here, well, at least one carbon is there. So we'll go with the yes. Is it is there on the second or second last carbon? Going to the next. And it asks how many methyl on methyl branches are there? So many people write two methyl branch, but no. Let us go a few seconds backward and let's see. We have already told that it is not there. Only one condition is fulfilled. So we'll be only writing one methyl. One methyl in place of one will be writing iso. The prefix which you are going to use that is iso, iso octane. Understood? I hope it is clear and you got the answer. Okay, let us move ahead. This is the last question of the session. Let's see if we'll get the right answer. So, this is the question. Let us count the terminal points one, two, three, and four. Four. It is more than two terminal points or this and branch. I hope you have done the same. Okay, so let us count all the carpets and give name of an alkene. One, two, three, four, and five. So it is in pentane according to the alkane name. Yes. So this is my box of longest continuous carbon chain and circle the branch. So this is my longest continuous carbon chain and I've circled I'm having the two branches. Okay, I'm having two branches. Now the next is check whether the branch it belongs to methyl group or not. Yes, it belongs to methyl group because CH3 is which is nothing but the type. Yes, the conditions will feel now. You have to check it is check whether it is there on the second or second last carbon or not attached to the carbon. So, yes, it is there on second or second last. Carbon. If this condition is there, then you can say that yes, it is there. Okay, next now. I have to check how many methyl branches are there on the second or the second last carbon. Yes, so there are two methyl branches are attached on the second or the second last carbon, so it will be new. Yes, it will be new pentane. Yes, it will be new pentane. I hope you got the same answer. Yes, I hope you got the same answer. So we are end up with the session. This is the homework part which you need to do. Does I'll give you hint to try by yourself. So this is my CH3, CH2, CH2, CH, and CH3, CH3. So this is, let us count the terminal points, one, two, and three. So this is our branch. One more, I'll like to give you one hint. I'll get the hint of this green color. So let us count the top terminal points, one, two, three, four. So again, it is in branch. The other board you have to do by yourself. I want you all to try by this four sums as a homework. Okay. I hope you enjoyed the today's session. And that's it for today. In the next class, we'll see some new another topics. Okay. That's it for today. Thank you very much. You all take very good care of yourself. Stay tuned. Stay safe. Thank you very much. Bye bye.